This morning when I woke up, I was quite sad. Um, I was reminded that just last Saturday, my mom decided to block my phone number after my dad blocked me that Friday. So it was quite a painful morning for me. I was super glad that we got some of the wedding stuff finished and now we only have the other half to do which isn't that much and yeah I'm glad we're having a cheap wedding it'll be better this way so we're just heading in to get our marriage license right now and I'm super excited and uh yeah so <laughs> so we're just going in now um all of us because they need both of me and Johnny's IDs to do it, so we have to both go in. But can me and Lucas have, like, some stuff? No. We're just going in for one thing, Logan. Like what? We're not getting toys. We're not getting any kind of snacks or foods. Come on. Okay, so we just went and applied for our marriage license. Apparently, we have to fill out paperwork and send it off, and then we get it in the mail. Which is fine, I don't mind, that's awesome, but the paperwork's in here. And uh, so after we're done at my next appointment, which is David's bridal for a dress, um, then we're going to go home, fill out the paperwork and send it off right away because, you know, it takes like, I don't know, I thought I think they said it like a week for it to get back to you. Um, or something, two weeks maybe, I don't know, I don't remember what it said, but... Um, something like that and then we have six uh, we have 90 days after that to get married so awesome it's getting done it's getting done it's getting done we're gonna do a Tim Hortons run cuz I need a coffee Whew, I need a coffee I could be red, um, or I could be um, yellow, um, I could be blue, um, or I could be purple um, I could be green um, or pink um, or black um, or white um, I could be every um, color um, you um, like um, I could be red, um, or I could be yellow, um, I could be blue, um, or I could be purple, um, I could be green um, or pink um, or black um, or white, um, I could be every um, color um, you um, like. But good thing I'm not going to get scared of you anymore. You don't know that. You don't, you've never seen my face. So, I went into David Bridal, uh, and uh, we picked out four dresses. Uh, I kind of knew the very first one I chose I was going to get, but I wanted her to feel like we were going to spend some time looking for one. So we get to the uh, changing room. I put on the first dress that I chose. I walked out, I looked in the mirror, and I started bawling my eyes out. It was just the perfect dress. It felt good. It was perfect in the armpits because you guys know I have like a thing about armpits. It was perfect. Okay? She started crying with me, and then she told me that they had a tradition that they do for the last 160 years or so, and it's uh, that they ring the bell, a wedding bell, when you choose a dress. So she had me ring the wedding bell after making a wish for my for my marriage, and um, I so I cried while I was ringing the bell, and everybody clapped for me, and they were crying. Like every single woman in there, they had dresses on. They all stopped and started clapping for me as soon as the bell was being rung. And I started crying and they were crying and oh, it was such a girly thing. <laughs> I'm not that girly and that was so girly. Yeah, when she screams, she screams like a man. <laughs> oh! <laughs> There's a spider! Oh! Right, boys? <laughs> That's mommy. That's Mr. Mom. Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna die. This is my lovely wedding dress that I decided to have. Well, I picked it and I wore it. Guys, I'm waiting on Amazon. And. There's got to be memes out there about people who wait for their Amazon packages when it says it's out for delivery. Because I've been waiting since I got home from the wedding shop. 
since I got my wedding dress, I've been waiting for my Amazon. Sitting outside, walking outside, walking around looking for this Amazon. Where is it? Where are you, Amazon? Where are you? You've been out for delivery since this morning, man. Does it really take this long? Is there a vehicle coming? I can't tell. I've been looking at vehicles passing. Wishing that one of them was the Amazon bus thing, truck, whatever it is. Amazon! Where are you, Amazon? Where are you? Y'all, the struggle was real. I was waiting forever for Amazon. I could not believe how long it took them. Literally, like 20 minutes before they weren't going to be coming at 8 o'clock, they came. Like 20 minutes before the deadline. I was so surprised. I was like, it isn't coming today. I know it isn't. I can't, I can't, I can't do this. And I was sitting outside and then all of a sudden, bam, they're here. I got my items and I was so happy. I was like, yeah, yeah. I can hear you. Oh, Lord. <laughs> trying to do a video and then I'm all of a sudden shouting. Okay, so guys, as you guys know, today I had quite a day. So... It began early this morning when my alarm went off at 7.30. I didn't quite get up. <laughs> in fact, I think I stayed in bed. Can't really remember that much. It was early. Man. Hold on. So this is some testimonies from people who have tried the products from Plexus and had some really good results. I actually read through these and I was like, dang, man, Plexus is a good company. So I'm super excited to get the products that are coming in my starter kit so that I can try them. Uh, apparently, the pink drink that I'm getting is really, really good for your stomach. If it helps with my anxiety, I mean, it's worth it. It's worth it. So anyway, sorry, I had to like get all the books off my bed. Um... Then, so we decided that we were going to do the, um, the appointments and I was only going to go to one. Hopefully I was, I was hoping that after we went to the one, we wouldn't have to go to the other two, but it turned out that after I went to the first one to alter the dress that I had from when I, I bought it in 2006, the $1,250 dress that I bought in 2000. In six. Um, she said that it would cost more to alter the dress than to just buy a brand new dress. Basically, I would be spending the same amount of money I paid for it to alter it. Because she would have to find the fabric for it. Then she'd have to reconstruct the whole back area. And then... Yeah, so she said it would cost like twelve fifty just to do it. And I was like, shoot. So I decided, fine, I'm going to have to go to my second appointment, which was David's Bridal, and find a dress. And I was going in there to find a dress that was relatively cheap. Because I wasn't going to spend like big money on a dress. And let me tell you, for satin, it was cheap. And if you want to know what I mean by that is, I saw a satin dress with lace, embroidered flowers on the outside, and it was satin on the inside, and it was $12.80. $12.80 for that. 
And then mine is all satin. No lace. No embroidered anything. It's all satin. Guess how much I paid for it. Two forty. Two hundred and forty dollars. I told you guys it was going to be a trailer park wedding, under a, a grand. So I was so happy. Oh, so there was these other ones. They were cheaper. They were like a hundred and nineteen, one oh nine and one thirty nine or something like that. And so they were cheaper. So obviously you would think I would go for that. However, when I tried on that dress, I cried. The way I looked in it, it was as if I had a dream with it on or something. It was like, uh, it was familiar somehow. And so I was like, no, this, this is the dress. It has to be this one. I didn't want any other one. It was the first dress I picked, the first dress I tried on, the first dress I bought. I didn't care. I didn't want to even try on the other ones. She's like, do you still want to try on the other? I'm like, no, I'm done. <laughs> and she's like, this is the fastest bride I've ever helped. I was in there for five minutes, right? Walked in, walked out. That's simple, guys. That's simple. I told her I was easy to please and she laughed and she's like, oh. And I was like, I told you I was easy to please when I was when we were ringing it in. And she's like, I thought you were just joking. I'm like, no. Seriously, I'm very easy to please. I'm not a fancy girl. I like just, you know, simple things. And um, she's like, I'm so happy that you found the dress of your dreams. I'm like, I am too. I did not expect it. I really didn't. I expected to pick one that I could, I could uh, settle for for the day, you know. I didn't expect to cry in a dress. And they have this this ritual where when you find your dress, you ring the wedding bell. So I rang the wedding bell. They all clapped. We all cried. It was a very girly moment in time. It was strange. <laughs> and then uh, after that... Um, was it before or after that we went to get the marriage license? After. Yeah, it was after. We went to get the marriage license after I got the dress. And uh, that went well, too. Um, I had no idea that after you pay for the license, you get the registration with the license. That was strange. So when I opened up the paperwork, I was expecting to fill it out. And I was like, witnesses. Then I read at the top, registration for marriage certificate. I was like, oh, this is the registration. So this is what we have to bring to the wedding and then send off. I see. So what I'm going to have to do is buy a stamp and an envelope on Monday so that we have it already for after the wedding and we send it off and then they send us our certificate for no extra charge it just comes in the mail and then I take it to ICBC right baby mm -hmm. ICBC what? I take the certificate there to change my last name. Uh, well, the bio certificate. Baby, after I get the certificate. I don't know. We'll figure that out. No, that's what you read to me. Okay. That I take it to the, is it ICBC? The yeah. driver's place? Yeah, yeah. So it's ICBC. I take it there. And then they just look at it. They change my last name and I pay for a new ID. That's it. And um, then I guess it changes on everything, even my SIN number, my last name changes. And then, yeah. So that's amazing.
Amazing. Yeah. I really don't like these headphones. Every time I put them in, they're in for like six minutes and then it says, Low, battery, charge, now please. I don't think he's awake anymore. What? Are you awake? I'm watching something. It does yours work all night? Pretty much. Mine doesn't. Mine keeps saying it's low battery. How come? I don't know. Yours doesn't? Mine doesn't what? Say that. No. Interesting. I wonder why mine does. It's so weird. Anyway, so it was a very long day, and then I was waiting for Amazon. I was like outside waiting for Amazon for hours. I think it died. Nope. It says it's still on. I don't know. This thing is weird. Anyway, um, I was pretty sure Amazon wasn't coming, but then I seen this weird van, and I was like, it's got to be Amazon. Johnny's like, no, it's B Amazon trucks black. I'm like, not all the time. And so it was Amazon. And I got my things, my rings, my necklace, my keypad for my, yes, thank you for letting me know again, low battery, please charge. Anyway, <sighs> I got my Amazon stuff. So now I'm just going to put this video together and I'm going to head off to bed. Because I got to get up tomorrow, shower, and then do all the things a woman does. So, I hope everybody had a wonderful Saturday. God bless everybody. Good night. Mwah.